As we continue our journey through the NAND Box App Builder, we've arrived at the App Settings section. The App Settings section is where you can configure the common features that would affect the entire app. In this video, we will tackle four examples of common feature that your app might need starting strong in the General Settings section with the splash screen. Through this option, you can add an introductory screen that is displayed first when the user installs the app. It can be a cool and entertaining way to introduce your app to users. The second example is sign up and registration, where you can control and customize everything regarding the registration and login processes for your users. You will get to choose your preferred login method from no login, email, or mobile number and configure the mobile SMS vendor through the app settings. The third feature on the list is Google Ads. By clicking on this toggle, you will activate Google Ads and can now display your advertisement campaigns on your app easily. Now that you've enabled Google Ads, you can start showing off your app's advertising campaigns to the world. You only need to turn on the feature and enter your ADID. Really, it's that simple. Coming up is one of the most important common features for any app, especially if you are thinking about developing an e-commerce app. This would be the payment method. You will have access to a variety of payment options, as you can choose to configure cash payment, credit card payment, PayPal, and in-app purchases. It's up to you to decide whether to pick just one or configure them all. And as usual, you can complete each method's configuration through the app setting easily and seamlessly. Wow, what a journey, in it. Now that we've covered the key features of the app setting section, you will be able to go through them like a champ and experience the utmost, functional and effortless app development process. NAND Box. The native, no-code app builder,